is Channel 5 This Morning. I'd rather see him locked up than me having to bury my son. And I don't want to have to do that. Sadly, a mother's plea goes unanswered after one of Tennessee's most wanted takes his own life while on the run. This morning, the search for John Drake Jr. is over after officers closed in on him last night. That's breaking news for you this morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rebecca Schleicher and I'm Ben Hill. That three day search started, of course, when John Drake Jr. shot those two Laverne police officers, sending them both to the hospital Saturday afternoon. And in the day since, as we've reported, police have searched aggressively for him. Last night, though, police say he took his own life in Edge Hill. Our Brianna Hamlet's been following the latest on this investigation. So, uh, Brianna, how did police eventually find him? Well, Metro Police say that once again, Drake Jr. was on the run trying to hide from police when he ran into a shed, and that's where he took his own life. So the TBI is now investigating the suicide. Metro Police say that around 6 yesterday evening, 38-year-old Drake Jr. approached a man and a woman outside of their home on Antioch Pike. He asked them for a ride, but they refused. That's when Drake Jr. pulled out a pistol and demanded the gold Chrysler that was in the driveway. A short time after he drove off in the car, officers spotted it on Thompson Lane at Patricia Drive. Police pursued him over into the Edge Hill area onto 15th Avenue South. That's where Drake Jr. crashed the car and he got out and ran into a shed behind a home. While officers surrounded the area, a gunshot was heard. Police say Drake Jr. died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Leading up to all of this, this past Saturday, Drake Jr. was stopped by two Laverne police officers who were investigating a suspected stolen vehicle. He shot the two officers and fled, starting a statewide search for him. The two officers are out of the hospital and they are recovering. News Channel 5 has requested body camera footage from the, office, the officers who were at the scene yesterday evening. And this is a difficult subject, so if you do struggle with thoughts of suicide, dial 988 for help.